Hey babes, and welcome to another series on our channel. So, if you guys haven't seen it, we did play the demo for this game a little while ago, and I absolutely fell in love. I think the concept of like a religious horror game can get a little controversial, but I thought it looked so cool because it almost had like a fantasy sense to it, and almost in a lot of ways religion does kind of have that sense to it. But it seemed like there was a lot of flashbacks and a lot of story to uncover. I am so interested to see if he actually murdered the boy, if he just did some sort of exorcism and maybe the community around him killed him. Like, I'm very, very curious to know why the blame is being put on us and if we really did it or not. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as I got in, I wasn't sure if I would have to replay the beginning of this game. Luckily, it was the demo, so it did let me hop in right after the demo ended. So if you haven't seen the demo, it'll be up in the card over there. And then come back and please enjoy. Impressive. Oh, the yay. Okay, so we start the here. Of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I love I that we get to hear the kid talking as well. When I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. Are these all graves of dead children? Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful What does that do? Whoa, whoa. I fear that I am the one who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here. So does that bring us into different, uh, like, time frames? Like, maybe this won't be here once the music fades out? It honestly kind of reminds me of something that would be in Candyland, I won't even lie. Excuse me, I would like to enter. Do I have to sing this table a song or what? Only the brave can enter the great laboratory. Only the one that can crush a demon and bring it as a burnt offering for the architect of the worlds. A demon as a sacrifice. Yeah, could I sure. Find one? <laughs> I guess it's time for you to meet my brother, Alexander, the little prince, as everyone calls him. Your brother's he the demon. He has a special trap that will help you on your journey. Oh. He lives in a small house on top of a hill somewhere around here. You never told me you had a brother. You I never think listened. he did. <laughs> okay, are we taking this pen or what? We're gonna kill the demon with a pen. Should we change it back? <gasps> that is definitely so cool. I mean, our path is blocked though, so I'm probably gonna need to get back. I really like that. Now, is he gonna be alive visiting your grave? Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two great warriors, a great. shepherd and a little prince fighting against an unjust king. The two oh, warriors rose to the reached occasion. the gates of the city and called out their enemy, the king. He cowardly hid behind two of his archers. It Good so happened things. that some Hold of on, their arrows the book were first. dipped in poison. Oh. One of those arrows hit the little prince. Oh, why do we have this? There was warm blood in his fragile body. But then, it was corrupted by poison. His lungs desperately gasped for air, if only for a soft breeze of it. His mind was the only thing that was kept safe. Then he started shedding tears. Some say his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells. That would be annoying as fuck. <laughs> Open the way. Oh, I'm still missing a key or something or not <laughs> oh what the fuck is this <laughs> wait are we what in the lord okay so are we missing hooks heart love oh my god no we're like Is this Christian? I feel like this is more like witchcrafty. 
So are we pumping blood into like the other things? <gasps> oh, they're they're breathing now. Literally hook that bitch. What is this? <gasps> oh. oh, okay, they're pumping. So the love has to go to the hearts, right? And then the breath has to go to this one. So the I know that we accidentally put on needs to go here. I thought we were actually hooking the organs themselves. Oh. Are these his cries? The bells? Okay, there's a coffin now. Maybe. Oh, God. I always asked myself why God allowed children to die. Don't why be would sad. God allow so many you other things brave, to man. be happening and existing? I wonder what he's buried with over there. Do not linger like this. You must journey forth. Be brave. Oh, we're picking it up. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like a headpiece? That looks like a bear thing. <laughs> a bear trap. Wow. Maybe that's what um, catches the demon because it has holy figures all over it. And we're going to use all of the lungs and hearts. Good evening, Father Abraham. Are you there? If you are oh, hearing this message, no. then please I go, go back outside. To the fantasy world. It appears that someone has a surprise for you. You can find it next to the fountain in the churchyard. I suppose Satan has baked some special biscuits for you. Wait, wait, Father. If there really are biscuits, don't forget to share them with those hungry children from the orphanage. What is happening? That is, if Radio, stop there's talking to me. anyone left you haven't killed yet. I'm gonna eat all those fucking Satan biscuits. Outside. This is the first snow I've seen in oh, years. Oh, look at that pretty carriage. Makes me what is feel that? Oddly comfortable. Someone trying to hang themselves from the balcony, or is that just supposed to be decorative? This, this isn't snow. What is this? Ash. It's ash. Silent Hill is everywhere. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Volcanic is it actually ash? ash? It is! Good lord, that looks crazy. Okay, we're at the fountain though. There's people out there. Oh, there's someone in here. Is it a boy? This thing is going to explode. I need to put out the fire. Well, I pressed this, but you guys wouldn't let me hold it. <laughs> God, I thought that was like an animal growling or something. Wait, the the boy's gone. We do not abide by the law of God. Our religion we are pleasure and our greed. We are both pure and obscene. Hmm, we are like children who died on battles. We are called Marai. There are seven of us. We want to go back in hell, but we want to drag you with us. That's creepy. Like, I kind of like it, but he kind of just sounds like he's burping. Sacrifice. Hmm. Is that a bunny? That's supposed to be purity, right? Uh, mister, can you... What's going on here? They're acting like I wouldn't be here. Well, that's okay. We can go visit the bunny. Alexandra, you first I really like the spelling of that. I remember you didn't like women so much. Oh, boys. I said something. No, stop purifying yourself with the fire. I love you. Come back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Oh, this is the bear trap. So, do we just like leave it now and let it happen? Are we gonna trap one of the demon children? Ooh. Did it already happen? What? No, it's the rabbit! <laughs> well, now I'm just sad. What the hell? I guess demons are supposed to come to you in, like, beautiful now forms, right? the demon, I can finally enter the church. 
Oh, yes. Yes. What is this? Oh, I, I forgot I can change the world. Now be beautiful and patched. Yay! <laughs> now we needed this snowy, didn't we? I don't know. Looks the same. I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something <laughs> good so residing within you. Oh. Oh, yes! Open my doors. Oh, what is this? essence of the earth. This tree works miracles when it's fed with the rarest mineral. Perhaps even though you'd seen it working life-giving miracles, you're still not to believe what lies behind your eyes. What, like your brain? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to make something and it's not gonna end well for me. Do not make the mistake of supposing that the little world you see around you, the earth, which is a mere grain of dust in the universe, is the universe itself. There are millions upon millions of such worlds and greater and there are millions of millions of such universes in existence within the with infinite logos oh oh wait i'm pouring things yeah am i supposed to be like shredding like meat or something like the rabbit in there oh button oh and this cup I was really surprised we can't grab that cup. What's in this little tent? More statues, more papers, matches. Okay. We must keep all the precious components in a sacred container, which is what I picked up from over there. Can I place that over here? Crap, I don't know what number to put this on. God, for G for God. Mm, those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. Okay. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. Well, we have one of hydrogen. Oh, no, we just put it to the two. <laughs> okay, two hydrogen, one oxygen, then light. Do we have holy water now? <laughs> we follow the ways of wolves, the habits of tigers, or rather we are worse than they. To them, nature has assigned that they should be thus fed. While God has honored us with rational speech and a sense of equity, and yet we become worse than the wild beasts. I pray to you, paper, you know. Oh, what is this? We have another key? Or is it missing? The key that opens I your heart. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Well, Whomsoever wishes it. to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, we got that. essence of earth, We're and making tincture that. of the sun. We don't then have they that. must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. Okay. Well, I'm going to do my best. Ooh, the crystal pretty rock. seems to be alive. I'm sure that's part of something. <laughs> we have another one over here. Okay. Essence of the sun. We bring down upon us the light of our God by using four lenses. One for hope, love, gratitude, and faith. Huh. Okay, so we have to line them perfectly. We only have three. Oh, it's still working now. I'm just doing things and it's good. Oh, there's our lens. Wait, uh, pull it out. Perfect. Ooh. Are they gonna kiss? Oh lord, that is the sun indeed. <laughs> this must be the tincture of the sun. All right, we're just gonna back away from that. That's like an atom bomb. Okay, so we put that in there. Now we can grind that all up. We still got some stuff pouring out. <laughs> My God, it's just grinding forever. Oh, it's it's green now. Grow. Grow How can dream. this be possible? I don't know. It's quite scary. <laughs> what a peculiar planet. 
People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. What they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I is it death? Are we all searching for death? And watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. It's really fascinating how it shows us like the sun in here and now the earth and everything. It looks really, really cool. This must now, David. Where can I find Elder Joseph? I need yeah. to forge this key. Elder no, I Joseph don't want to leave. It looks so cool. Here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside, it behind the church? you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. You have I arranged a sleigh for me. Okay, well let's switch back over to that. Take me to my sleigh, child. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, I thought they were pigs at first. I think they're sheep. Oh, there's people now. Oh! I am yeah. the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. But we'll have the light of life. Who... who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of times. <laughs> Is this cave gonna be in the nice weather or also in winter? I would assume the nice weather. Uh, I wish I could- I honestly wish I could read this. <laughs> he looks crazy. Okay, let's read My his son, book. Is that a bone? Unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. That thing? You will need my bones for this to task. You are okay. wondering why. Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. All right. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I really didn't see him there. Bones. We're all mixing everything together. Okay. Key. Then we gotta start a fire down here. With his bone. <laughs> Pour. Now open. Open. Oh, no, it's pouring through a hole. Yes. I understand. <laughs> Don't touch it. It's super this hot. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, and now that he's holding the I'm key, you the really know could he's either dead inside. elevate me to the grace of God or destroy my very being. Probably the latter of the two. Alright, back to the church. And winter. I hope I'm not standing in any sheep. <laughs> God, I'm gonna murder whoever the sound person was for this game, because if I have to hear those bells again, I'm gonna blow my brains out. Alright, let's find out what's behind this door. I love the way, like, things just fade off of it. It's very nice. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid are these all the, the children? The cool and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. Is we it, like, our fault that they were unbaptized and that's what this is? To put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for How a book of rituals <laughs> in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? Right, that is a pretty big order to fill. I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Love Years that. Ago, Let's do I it. I travelled to Transylvania. There, the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. Tell me, they would what did they take do? the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then, they would drop. <laughs> The exorcism was a mistake. No, it cut now, it off. They said it drove a stake through its heart. David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. 
Wait, so we were seeing a child that was possessed and like went through such a process when it didn't even affect him in that way. Things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? A dedicated one to your faith. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. We're going to find out how to get the skull of a saint and um, what exactly, <laughs> how do we deal with these children? So far, to me, the story has really sucked me in. I hope that it has with you guys as well. I know this game wasn't a favorite um, for the Sunday video. Maybe it's not like that it was a bad game, but maybe it just wasn't the best game out of the three for you guys. To me, I think this is such a cool story. I love touching on the topic of religion, and maybe that's why it wasn't a pick, because so many people are like, uh, about it. But I am enjoying this game. Please let me know if you are. What do you think is gonna happen? What else did we do? Did we do things to all these children? Are we responsible for them not being baptized? Anything else that you guys might think might be going on, I'd love to hear some theories. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I make videos three times a week on this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I feel like I look like an awkward bean. Ugh.